could get an internet. Uh, it's been a while since I've recorded one of these. You can tell I haven't shaved my head recently. Um, yeah, uh, welcome to my house. Or, not really a house, apartment, condo. I don't own the condo, so it's not really a condo, I'm renting it. But anyway, uh, yeah, that's not a green screen. That is legitimately what the area from one of my patios looks like. And yeah, one of. This is the conference table, as I like to put it. Ah, what is today? Uh, it's Saturday. I just don't remember what day of the week it is. It's about a month after I've moved. Let's go for a walk. Beautiful, isn't it? It's so weird that this is genuinely where I live. Like, what? This is luxury living, and my brain still doesn't quite comprehend the fact that I actually live here. Once more, good kitten internet. Uh, this is not quite at the right angle. One moment. There we go. It's been a while since I've used the selfie stick. Uh, it's been since the last one of these recordings, actually. Um, editor me is probably going to either, one, skimp out on all of the edits that I would like to do, or two, have a long journey ahead of them. Oh boy. Um, I'm currently, so the water that you see over to my left shoulder, that's the North Sea. Um, you can actually see landmass back there. That's an island. I am actually on the easternmost point of this particular area of Norway. Um, Norway does go further east, a little bit north. So it's not like the easternmost point of Norway or anything. It's just for this small segment, I'm as far east as you get. <sighs> um, yeah, so I live here. Just what? This is the stupid hill. I'm at the base of it right now, and we're walking up the hill together. I had to abruptly stop recording because there is a sunbather, and privacy is important. Also, I have absolutely no idea what the laws are when it comes to recording other people here. I wouldn't want them to show up anyway, but yeah, um, yeah, we're going to walk up this really annoying hill together, and I'll talk for a while. I didn't bring my headphones. <sighs> yeah, I need to go back for those. One moment. As I was saying, up stupid hill. <sighs> Sorry about that. Just want to make sure I have something to listen to and do on my way back down because I'm probably not recording that way. Um, today is a fairly gorgeous day. Um, what, 21 degrees outside? So that's 65 Fahrenheit, I think. Um, not really any clouds in the sky, as you can see. Probably should be wearing my hat, but I actually don't know where it's at at the moment. Um, but walking up the stupid hill once more. I'm going to be taking a lot of stops on the way because walking and talking, a lot more tiring than just walking. So, how have things been? Um, complicated. That's the best way of phrasing pretty much everything. I just realized that my selfie stick is kind of crooked, crooked at the moment. I wonder if it got damaged in the move. Like a lot of my things. Um, speaking of, my main gaming desktop is damaged. In theory, I have all the parts to make it work again, but... Uh, I haven't actually tried yet. That'll probably be tomorrow because it's not much for me to do tomorrow as opposed to today. Today I am on a quest to go to a bakery. Um, there is a bakery at the mini mall nearby here. 
mini mall being about a 20 minute walk roughly and oh, stupid legs I mean look elevation is a thing there just look up you'll notice that there's houses above that those set of trees it's because there's a giant rock wall there because everything here is uphill and it hurts so much um let's see some video update stuff uh the smack videos are still on hold my partner left to go back to their place in the middle of nowhere for a while which means i can't record any more smack videos until they get back <sighs> Yeah, I'm horrible with elevations, by the way, and this is not me trying to aim the selfie stick to make it look more than it is. Um, I have gone uphill a decent amount. Um, right, so can't record any smack videos. I'm probably going to start recording some random other videos, maybe some Commander Keen 5, not sure yet. I haven't really been playing all that much in the way of games. I've been doing a run of Rogue Legacy 2, but the game mode that I'm playing at has no plot, so it's not particularly important or interesting to watch in my mind. <sighs> Time to cross, because I'm going to the mini mall, which means I have more hill. So that's the path to the grocery store. I'm not going there. I'm going to the mini mall, which is further uphill. See those houses way up in the back? Yeah, that's more the elevation I'm going to be at. Ugh. If you can't tell, I really don't like walking up hills. It's rough. Oh, wow. This is the less elevated section. You can already tell that behind my left that it's higher up than my right. Oh, grumble. Oh, let's continue walking. One moment. Legs. Legs do not want to function. Having to stop and slow down for a bit. So, I know I've mentioned this in videos multiple times, but I basically grew up and lived most of my life in very flat places. Um, where I'm standing right now would already be taller than the tallest point in the entire state in the U.S. that I grew up in. Um, <laughs> And let's just say that I have more to walk up. Although, once I hit that point, that's most of the way uphill. It's just unfortunate that it's all front-loaded. Walking downhill is a lot easier, at least. Although, in winter? Oh, how do people even walk up and down these hills? They don't really have traction. Glad I brought my ice cleats with me. <sighs> yeah, yeah. Definitely out of shape. On top of the fact that I do not have practice walking up hills. <sighs> I'm always worried that I'm committing a faux pas by recording. Because <sighs> I really don't know 
what people think about when it comes to things like this. It's not like I'm seeing too many vloggers. Okay, gonna pause for a moment. All right, let's continue. So, the good is fairly obvious. I mean, look at the views that I'm dealing with, like the area around my apartment, just the general neighborhood, and the fact that this is gorgeous weather is a thing, although, weirdly enough, Bergen's in some of the most severe drought that it's had in a long time. There's actually a prohibition against outdoor fires right now, until it rains, which is supposed to be early next week. Um, and cloudless skies? That's not Bergen. Bergen's a literal rainforest. Oh, don't think I've mentioned. This is Bergen, Norway. Um, well, a suburb of Bergen. Suburb's not the right term. Um, a borough of Bergen would actually be the right term. More hill. It's gradually easing off, but getting really tired of all these hills. And mostly stop of hill. There is a little bit more slightly later, but that's really about it. Oh, my legs are not happy with me, but I need to make sure that I go on a walk on a regular basis because otherwise I will do nothing. Still walking through what's basically people's driveways. Um, the road system in Bergen is ridiculously confusing, to put it mildly. So, the way it works, as far as I can tell, is that there's a main road, main street, that you will see things like, hold on, this sign where it says. 1 to 47 is this way. So, all of these driveways are effectively branches of the main street. This is still a residential street. So, on a map, it kind of looks like a river system where there's a bunch of tributaries all flowing into a street, except they're all named the same thing. It is kind of obnoxious. Luckily, my instinctive bit of direction sense helps with this. So you'll notice I'm not even bothering to consult a map at this point. I've been down here, what, three times now? That's good enough. Um, let's see. There's been a lot of adjustment to things, especially over the fact that I don't exist online. Um, basically, Norway has a national, or technically multiple, but a national multi-factor authentication system for pretty much anything important. And I don't have access to it because they're all tied to banking and I don't have a bank account yet the last bit of hill. And then everything is downhill. Walking back, I'll have a little bit uphill, but not much. Not anywhere near as much as walking up this. Um, I believe it's 54 meters elevation total. And then, was it two, three or four meters downhill total? So, yeah, also this is the only dirt road stretch that I have seen in 
darkened so far. <sighs> My arms are getting tired from holding the selfie stick. But... <sighs> Stupid cantilever action. Um... <sighs> getting a little hot due to being in the sun. But I said I would record the journey and that's what I'm doing. I'm recording the entire journey start to finish. This particular recording, outside of a couple of small pause breaks, is effectively the entire route, so I'll know about how long it takes for me to walk. So, um, as mentioned, wildlife is pretty here. Not being able to buy things myself kind of sucks. Not being paid at the moment sucks worse. <sighs> yeah, I'm probably going to need to pause recording again because there's too many people nearby. Norwegian language skills are pretty awful still. <sighs> Hardly surprising. I've lived here a month. But this is the longest I've been in Norway in one contiguous stretch. My language skills are not getting any better. In fact, I swear they're actually getting worse. <sighs> Maybe I've been relying on my partner too much for translation. I don't know. I suppose you should get a nice thing. See? There's a bridge over to another island. Pretty. I know, probably not much of an exciting vlog, but... And I'm betting editor me is going to be taking the lazy route after all. Mm, my lips are sticking to my teeth. A little dehydrated from talking less much. <sighs> um, hopefully you all can actually hear me, because I'm not exactly talking very loud. I was sick quite a bit about a week, week and a half ago, and talking too loud hurt. So that plus the fact that there's a stereotype of the loud American means that I've been trying to speak at a much lower volume, which is actually fairly normal for me. I have to consciously project. By the way, we're basically here. That over there is the mini mall. That is the side of a rock cliff. Um, yep, there's the mall. Apologize for all of the shaky camera work. It's almost as though I'm walking downhill at the moment. It's not the easiest thing in the world to steady a camera like this. I'm having to heavily rely on my phone's native stabilization. Anyway, looks like it's taken me about 16 minutes to arrive here. That's not too bad. Especially given how much uphill there is. Well, let's see if we can get ourselves some bread, eh? I'm going to pause the recording while I do this because way too many people around. Hmm. Probably also figure out if I can buy trash cans anywhere here. I didn't think about that. My house is in desperate need of having trash cans. We have none, but my bag isn't particularly large and I really don't want to carry it back. So probably going to end up ordering that online. Don't know. Okay, stopping recording. And I'm done. So, as I had expected, and much to both my and Candace's dismay, they do not have pumpernickel. I have actually not seen pumpernickel in Norway at all, and it's also my favorite type of red, so quite unfortunate. But at the moment, I'm walking in this little area, little pond. 
Um, it's just across the street from the mall. You can see where the gas station mall sort of is. My head, my selfie stick's in my backpack, and I do not feel like opening my backpack. I was mostly just curious to see what was down here. Oh, birds. I suspect that the water levels are a bit lower than normal due to the lack of rain at the moment. But this is a little neat place. I don't want to dawdle too long. I do have cold things in my backpack. I decided to stop by the grocery store and pick up a few things. And I made sure to grab something that was frozen that if it defrosted, not that big of a deal to basically use as a cooling pack. Those benches have seen better days. Uh, I am not sitting on that. <sighs> Seagulls in the pond. No duckies, though. No way for me to say a chicka quack quack. Looks like some random rubbish in the pond. Looks fairly old, too. Uh, not that old. That's a 7-Eleven logo. I think that was a cup that's disintegrated. Just seeing what else is down here before I turn around and head back. Hmm. One of those times where I wish I had a head-mounted camera or something. A little pretty area, though. And there's a possibility that this connects up to where the other grocery store is, and I can just walk back from there, which is fine. If that's the case, I would really like to know, because this is really pretty. Glad I found a little nature-ish area over here. <sighs> pretty flowers. Anyway, um, it dead ends behind me. I'm heading back. There was somebody over there playing with his dog in the pond. Dog was definitely having fun. And while it might be possible that the trail continues on through some tall grass, ticks are really common in Norway. And I am wearing shorts, so no. I mean, you can see the benches again. I think I will stop recording for a bit and just listen to music on the way back. Or maybe even go without music for a little bit because it's really pretty here. See ya!